Welcome back to In Hood Fishing. Uh, I've been out here all day doing stuff, riding around in the heat. It is now 5.30. I'm ready to do some relaxing fishing. Let's do some Uncle Steve style with some cane poles. Come on. Come on. Turn signal would have been nice. I bought another one of those cheap cane poles at Walmart. So now I have two because I, I want to be able to go cane pole fishing with another person instead of just having one pole. So here it is, just like the first one I bought a few months ago. Around $4 is what it cost me. It's a kit, it comes with all the, all the stuff you need. The one thing that comes with these kits that I really like is this green thing here that you can wrap your line around. So when you're done fishing with the pole, you can wrap the line around that Use it again next time so it doesn't, you know, turn into a mess. It's nice and tight. Right, let's take a look at this. <clears throat> so here's the end of the line that's going to go on the cane pole. I'm just going to take a little bit off. Let's see, I got something here. Yes, here you are. I'm gonna take a latch swivel and tie that on, but not wasting a lot of line. Because with these kits, the line is pretty pretty much pre-measured. So if you take too much line tying this knot, you're shortening your, uh, your leader off the tip of the rod. This should be the length of the rod. You don't really want your line to be longer than the rod. It can play havoc later on when you want to play a fish in because the fish is going to bend the rod and all of a sudden you just can't get that fish close to you if it's really big there we go now let me show you why i'm doing that unlike a tinkara rod most cane rods are going to have this little metal thing right here and we're just going to put our latch right in there and close the latch there we go this makes it easier to take it on and off instead of tying it these kits come with a float as you know and it's in line you you have to cut the line to take that off and then we come down here and there's always this one bit of weight this lead here it looks like split shot but it's actually in line and then you have a hook the hook is somewhere around a size 8 Aberdeen we're gonna shorten this tag in that they have on here. Here we go. Let's put on a bit of red wiggler on that. And there we go. To start, I have a depth of two feet underneath that float. bunch of little fish coming for it oh it's a big cichlid right here there we go wow you could almost use that as bait that's not bad right there oh yeah A little cichlid i'm just not relaxed enough so i'm going to keep fishing the cane pole on the float but i'm also going to put out a drop shot on this other rod see if we can get bigger panfish here i am going to keep some of the big panfish to use as bait for catfish in the river just right out there we're going to use this bank stick so we can chill I'm gonna catch a couple of cichlids real quick, or at least one of them. There we go. Nice. There we go. Oh, that's another cichlid again. I'm getting even smaller.
Yes. Oh ho ho! Nice, nice. That's a pretty one. Yes. Oh. Still another cichlid, but that was fun. Well, I'm totally relaxed. It is time to put this cane pole to bed. We'll run to another spot real quick and just use the drop shot. See if we can get some nice size gill for the river. The problem with this spot I want to go to is I'm not the only one who wants to relax on the bayou. Hopefully they're not blasting music. I mean, come on, what do you expect? It's a holiday weekend. Of course, there's going to be a lot of people out here, but at least they're not blasting music. Seems like I lost a lot of light since I came across that bridge. I got stuck in a conversation. And in the meantime, the wind also came back up. Here he goes. Oh, it's not a cichlid, finally. The little gill. Oh, and there goes the little gill. There we go. Nice. It's another cichlid. Caught a couple of fish. Met a cute girl over there. That's because that's the reason for the time lapse. And then the rainbow girls over there just chased me off with David Bowie. Too dang loud. Let's get away from Bowie. Come over here in front of the ice cream truck. Look at that. So what do you got? I would, um, I would like one of these small cones with chocolate right here. Okay. Perfect. And look at this. Lots of ice cream. Let's yeah. get you all off my chest. We have peanut butter. It's really up to you. Oh, you got peanut butter? Yes, we do. Peanut butter, matcha, cookies, and cream. Um, you got matcha? Matcha, yes. Matcha? Yes. Could I have the matcha, cookies, and cream? You want just just one scoop. Okay. Is that cool? One well, just matcha, one of them. So it's matcha and cookie cream. Okay, yeah, can I get one of each? Yeah. I'm not making much sense, people. I, I've been fishing all day in the heat. Don't have much to show for it, but I got ice cream. <laughs> Look at that. It's tasty. All right, guys, back where we started, that ice cream totally hit the spot, totally relaxed, ready to take it to the house. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.